Nunca, mano. Nunca. Até pra te acalmar, tá ligado? Eu sei que nesse momento o brasileirinho que apostou na Astralis tá um pouco tenso. E eu vou falar pro senhor, mano. A Astralis não vai perder de 2x0 pra Complex nunca, velho. Uma MD3, velho. Nunca. Fala galera, apps.gg, nova patrocinadora do canal, vindo com uma novidade incrível para todos vocês. Lugar onde você pode colecionar cartas dos Pro Players de CSGO de todo mundo e poder competir com seus amigos. Entre agora no primeiro link da descrição e não perde essa chance. Então, entre agora mesmo e participe. Cara, me surpreende ter 29... 19, perdão, 19% de lunáticos que apostaram no call, velho. Me surpreende, velho. Opa! Roubou a balinha! Será que o segredo tá ali? Sim, isso. Opa! Daí! <risos> tá achado, hein, do Free? Porra! Oh, aí mandou ver, mano. Já pague o dízimo aí, velho. Será que o segredo está naquela balinha? They don't even check for Sip. Oh, they're all lined up. Oh, it's a disaster, Sip. A lot of damage. Just a one kill, but then comes the crossfire. They finally got rid of Sip, but that has cost them a lot already. <laughs> yeah, not enough kills coming out for such an effective crossfire, but they've slowed it down. They've done the damage. But somehow, Complexity has fought their way into an even situation. A three on three. Bomb is up at Goose and Config's hands. They can still try and make this work. A plant would at least be something. It's going to be huge. No one jumping for the shot just now, so the bomb does get planted. And this is very interesting. Suddenly, there's a lot of pressure on Astralis. Magus, though, excellent headshots and rush. He wants oh. to fall away. He's going to take the fight anyway. Picks up a gun, but it's not in time. Instead, it's Magus with the triple kill, but that was a close round. They actually had the bomb plant down exactly where they were from, uh, from outside, but it looks like Config's going to be doing that anyway. So actually, double smoking middle is what they're signaling at the moment. That, that would give you the space probably to get a little bit closer with the pistols. And they're not going to find any fight in here, which seems like they're not even really trying. They're just they, leaving one. They want to pull the attention towards middle with three smokes, that there's going to be some kind of an execute, a set piece through the smoke towards the B bomb site. Meanwhile, four players lining in upper dark. Dupree's going to have a big job to do. He's scoped in. He misses the first shot. Magus is blind, and there's a chance. Zipnik falls in mid, but a double. Three kills for Dupree, and a fourth on top. Five to nothing. We could do something. He's going to be setting up that smoke for the cross, and or it's going to be to CT spawn a little bit further back down. And in the Krieg again we go. 30 seconds on the clock, and they need to make a move right here. Complexity Magus is now on the flank, and it's being Ooh. held a bit. He does get across, and he's got the bomb, but Config's not holding long, and that gives the huge opportunity. Magus coming in with a kill. And Obo in a one versus two. That's almost unwinnable. He's going to stand up for a kill. Oh, oh my god, he turns around for it. An unbelievable round. The quad holding for any kind of a push. Two smokes, two flashbangs for utility for the Astral side. That's on Glaive and Zipnix. They're both going to be in middle, so you have to imagine they're going to set up for the mid-B split. But complexity, this is exactly what they want. And Astralis, are, they're not even making a big mistake. They've got it all figured out. They, they know there's no one in close to middle. They know they are no one catwalk. They're going to take the fight right away. And Config will land a parting headshot, taking down Device oh. and Megan. And he'll follow it up, taking down Dupree. That's three. That's a whole arm of the attack gone. And the follow-up is amazing. A quad kill for Config in the pistol round. To force overtime or something miraculous here from the in-game leader. I like this. Complexity playing very disciplined. Everyone playing with distance, everyone just sitting back, no one making a mistake, everything's covered for the moment, and everyone can just fall away once they get the information. Nobody has to commit to a fight. Yeah, they had that one versus... Woo! That's a fantastic headshot. Get banged out. Holy yeah. Hell. There was the same angle, he just won that fight uh, twice, but this time Glaive a little bit quicker. But yeah, they had the one versus three against Device that they almost gave away, so I can't blame them it's, for not wanting to do that. It's a scout, though. It is a scout. The grenade will help out, and the flashbangs to follow it up, and all the patience paying off here. 15 to down. Poison looking into the middle, a little bit scary, but he's found the right angle, and that's the bomb down on device. He has really been uh, outside by Poison a number of times. Now it's a two on five, and again, complexity. If they can just remind themselves to keep it cool, they should be fine. Blame if going down. I think Magus a little bit further up than they were expecting, and that could result in a bomb plant here. This isn't quite over yet. No, but what they do have is Rush and Obo out towards Long. Yeah. Poison and Config going to be coming from CT spawn. This is a powerful retake, especially with the advantage of utility. Zip and Magus have to get aggressive somewhere, and it's towards Cat that Magus is going. 
and they might be in a lot of trouble. Config has that one Molotov, so if they go on Catwalk, he could block at least one of them out, and that would be an issue. Now they're trying to get in there. Mega Squad get the kill, the turn around, and actually he'll follow it up. Mega Squad the grenade, and now Rush on the other side. This is where they need to close it out. Don't ever give Astralis a chance to get back in the game. He's waiting for it, and Mega Squad take it down. A quad kill in the round to somehow save Astralis. That is an unbelievable turnaround. 1-1 one, one now. Oboe alone, he's got 30 seconds and he's picked up a Galil there. Not really sure that makes a big difference right now. I think that bomb plan is going to be what's really tricky. And he goes straight for it. Dupree almost catching him in the middle of it, but that at least gives him a little bit of space. He gets that headshot immediately. That's very quick. And now does he know? Device pretty much can only be at this angle. He's out in the open, so if he doesn't win this fight immediately, Device will take him down, but Oba will do it! That's a triple kill. A little smile at the end, but... Tirou a sorte, talvez. Já toma um tiro que não tinha que tomar. E olha o XY. XY chega no escanteio. Não vão olhar o XY. Quem vai olhar? Olha lá. O XY tem a posição. Ele tem a... is rotating over all four players are going to be here and this is where we'll test them do they have the smokes do they have the nades and do they have the protocol to watch for device coming from behind this off angle for the flank it's going to be rushed to challenge and rushed to fall okay, it's got him that's obo just standing up stop crouching for a second so at least it's a two on three but again they're not even really getting close to the bomb side yet they need to find a way in and they're almost out of grenades as well. That smoke is going to be fading. Poison has to win the first battle here. It's not going to be working out. It's a headshot on Magus. That's not an easy shot to hit, ladies and gentlemen. He goes for more. We'll pick up Sip. He's actually cleaving his way into the bomb site. And Dupree now. How do you retake this with an AWP? If you challenge Poison, odds are you're not going to come out on top right now. He is lightning fast at the moment. And with that smoke still up, they can even get back behind cover. If they do, what is he going to be doing? I think Dupree was looking for Oboe after the plant to slide to the right. There was a gap in that smoke. Poison's gonna take the fight. He's got a quad kill on the round. Meia volta, fingiu... É, o torcedor dá risada. Ó, oh, que atropelo esse round. Deveria ter sido todos assim, né? Calma, 2x4. O XY device é perigoso. Agora é só... Matei oi, dois, hein, mano? Oh. Matei dois, hein, velho? Time nessa situação, device rindo. Porra. Oh. him down that cleans the way into the bomb site for the bomb plant. Config will find a kill, but still, how do you get through this? It's very, very hard to get in and actually defuse that bomb once it's down. They do have a defuse kit on rush, but Config, that flank is up and I don't know what they could do. They don't have a smoke to block anyone out. This is going to be an almost impossible battle here for Complexity. Three versus four to try and get back into it. Glaive gets shot right off of the building. Oh. And Device goes down. They've actually made it possible now. Their bodyguarding rush is still not defusing. He's the one with the kit. They're fighting instead and missing all of the shots. And I think that might have been the one chance rush. He'll get a chance, but it doesn't matter. Sip should oh. be able to turn the corner. He's a little bit far away. And ducking in, it will be right in the last start even after losing the pistol Woof. that's glaive taking down poison who's been on fire this game so far but he just got absolutely rocked and now they're following it up magus with a shot a little bit of a return to calm actually glaive will hit one more headshot this is so dangerous here they can't lose this round complexity it's so weird they've had to use their own utility in a defensive fashion that close to the bomb site just so they could you know have some kind of safety device gonna try and get away good prediction from blame F. the molotov forcing him into the open and I think he saw someone out at, I mean, he could have probably guessed that anyway, but just a little bit of information could be the big difference. That smoke is going to be really annoying for Astralis. They have a deal and a scout, so, so spamming through the smoke for a long time, that's not going to be viable if someone starts defusing that bomb. And a good read, Blame F, not even just the force out with the Molotov, but reading that one as well, he's got the right idea. Sip trying to be clever, but Blame F will save his team there. He's got the kit as well, and the triple. What a nice round. I mean, and the bomb has been planted. Two on three. Config sneaking up and poison and Config. It's just AWPs, but they find a oh. kill. Each. Oh, he flicks through. He tags up the pre and he's very low on health. They could do this with pistols. I don't know if they know yet, but this AK-47, he's got one chance to pre and one alone, or they will be at a match point. They're right behind him as well, and it's the op to do it. Complexity at 15 rounds on map two against Astralis. It's so hard. He's down to...
clear out to Bracket. Wrapping lane now. Perfecto on the site. Crossfire in the pit. Two backs turn to him. Three down with the Bombas. Looking for four. And he can't get more. Shocks will eventually trade 2v3 now for Vitality. Yeah, these last two players both stuck up on the bomb site. Good smoke spam from Apex. That's the kind of play that's going to get Perfecto's confidence boiling early on. But a pop flash is... A response that now has him standing in the open, deals with the pressure well, pushes it just to Alex, but that's a crucial trade off of the Deagle. It gives him enough time. He could have picked up the M4, but instead, he's just gonna go immediately into the post plant so that he has the timing, okay. so that he can work back around Boomich, who has no idea he is so exposed to this. All the while, we have a player walking up, and now he takes that kill. The question is, can he land another? Flamey, there he is, straight in front of the crosshair on the edge of the smoke, and he's gonna work closer. No kid, the spam is oh his! God. Alex, big brain, big play. Say it. He was done for. <laughs> Still that op for Zaiwu. Heavy numbers here for Vitality, about to pummel Boomich. I think they've got the weight advantage as the flashes have him scared, but he is ready to come back in for more. Three, four, and almost five. Only RPK survives that situation and gets that headshot. Only one traded by Flamey, pinned off by the smoke grenade. He's calling for the rotate, which walks into the weight of Apex, but Perfecto picking up that kill. He's not gonna be caught by the same position a second time. Man advantage. No utility left for Vitality, but that last Molotov does burn Flamey. And that's a crucial kill, because it allowed Saiwu to go one better. And he now has that picked up smoke. It wasn't on him just moments ago, but now it completely blocks Electronic off, or so it should. He still walks into the scope. Simple with a final clutch attempt at 9 HP. He's done. Vitality, finish the T-Side. ...way through CT spawn. Oh my God, they're coming back his way. Yep. It's the Alex show. Um, what can he do with this MP9, or MP, MP, uh, MAC-10, excuse me, how many kills can he get? They're gonna start sprinting, and if he doesn't pull that trigger, oh, oh he's got all three! Oh, he sprays God. down the back two of the caboose and can't finish it, but my goodness, has he primed his team to take this over the line. Yes, it works perfectly, but here comes Simple, and he's gonna knock him down. Navi hanging on to the round, but a valiant effort from Valiant. Yeah, that was go back to mid. Just as Vitality are starting to clear things out. So if timing is correct, yeah, they have an opportunity. Alex, he'll end up dying. Perfecto gets the first kill of the round. Yep, too many players to handle. They all come at him at the very same moment. RPK meant to be slain, but oh, oh he connects oh! three! USP taps and Zaiwu only gonna get one more. Still, Perfecto in a one versus three clutch. 30 seconds left, he's got that bomb. Smoke blocking off both of the remaining Vitality members and a grenade that won't matter. He's completely blinded. They're gonna run up on him. Five USPS headshots from Vitality. Just crazy, man. D Navi looked to work on A. Ready for it. Easy. Perfecto jumps into the scope. Zaiwu. Little jump shoulder peek. Plays with Boomich, but it's going to cost him. So the players inside of the bomb site are going to have to pick this up. RPK does exactly that. One in the back. <gasps> Timing. Oh my God. Again. The one shot execution that takes away a smoke that was meant to couple with this hit. Three T's are out from apps. RPK hopes to bring it back, but he's just hiding in the back of this bomb site, dodging the grenades as Zaiwu continues to walk closer and closer. But Flamey is his kryptonite again. Oh! oh, no! oh no! RPK he can't. takes three! He can't just do that! Are you kidding me? For 15! For match four! Another attempt from Boiler, Perfecto's overwhelmed. Man advantage is taken by Vitality. Oh, this don't. would be two rounds they had no business winning if they close it here. A T smoke down on Coffin. A run boost into the bomb site. Zaiwu's ready for it. Apex has got him with the Deeg. And Simple in a one versus four to try and keep this going. He has the time to play. 50 seconds left. 
two CTs from spawn. It's a great flash, but he dodges the shots. If anybody overextends, he is done for. But they're playing with him. They know the Deagles have done it again, so it seems. Time is his biggest issue, 30 seconds. He would have to walk in here like a sprinkler and spin, but it's Vitality with the win. Wow, they pull it off, man, and they do it just in the fashion that Rifle and Anop both working together to get the fights. More than that, RPK is pretty much like, let me see what I can do, and then you can probably clean up, but instead, it's him to get all of the kills on the, on the cat corner. Stronger up, I guess you could call it, over on the A site. But here it is, back to where they have the most trouble. Long control here for Navi. Two players on the A site. No one's pushing mid. Apex has attention here. Yeah, they're on the boost. Oh no, it's not a boost. Shox just has leverage. Alex completely nullified. Close range with the AWP. Shox, another! Not a third. Perfecto's gonna best it, but still, that's man advantage up at the 35 second mark. Alex taking that tidbit of damage should be an audio cue for the T's to play with. Separate duels though, 1v1s. Not the way you want to give this back to Na'Vi. They're going to feel pressured on this bomb site, pressured in the post plant. They know exactly where Electronic's at. He does good damage, and he's still standing, but Saiwoo's had enough. Damn. Pops up and takes his hat off. That was crazy. Indicating they wanted players blocked off. But now Boomich is going to have a much easier job. No grenades to dodge, no bullets flying back. He's already managed to drop RPK. Alex, though, still potentially in his way, just on the other side of this smoke, but they're making noise. Look at this. He's he is not afraid. Damn, man. <laughs> oh, my God. They're he jumping exactly all over what's top going of him. He's going to walk right through this, and it's going to be an easy two piece because he knows the scope is there. How about another? Boomich making mincemeat of this anti eco. 21 kills as simple sits second best at 10. Oh, he's got an ace, man. That's an easy kill oh. right there. Almost to round out the half, man. He has had his. More perhaps, but Alex, who had the majority of the utility there for Vitality, goes down. They're going to keep this one going. <gasps> what? Zaiwu just runs out catwalk, executes the player over here towards cross, goes one better, and takes down Perfecto. Did he just control his USP spray? We recoil? <laughs> I was spamming it and dragging it down. And then, Whoa. oh my god, three kills. The, la the first one was the last bullet in the mag. I have this gut feeling that third one was a jump shot. Look at this. Zaiwu crossing. Oh, sorry, Apex, yeah. Oh. oh! Wow. I had a feeling. That's nuts. I I felt it in yeah. all sorts of places. We thought they removed that from two consistently. Run out mid here by Alex. They go through the fire and the flames. No kills are had, except for Zaiwu's. Yeah. Site is technically compromised right now. Flaming in a prime position, though, to rack up the ADR. However, yeah. simple to catch Zaiwu crossing one more time. Still, we got a bomb plant for Apex and a headshot on RPK. If they get flustered and rush this, there's a chance that they can lose. Trying to bait RPK into the peak, perhaps. He's got 16 bullets in the magazine. No one tunnels. Electronics waiting just on the other side. You can see Vitality getting a little nervous, wanting to go for the peaks, and the timing's there. The spray Ooh. hits too. Oh, the P250 does! No way! He gets it again! He did it again! The whole three. This round lead. Love the immediate plan. <gasps> There's one. Cut down to just a single man advantage. Zaiwu making noise, so they know that he's still flirting and floating around this bomb site, but Simple bests him. Here comes Shox. A second headshot and a third one through the smoke. Nope, not yet. Still, the clutch could be. Flamey's down. Another round for Vitality as they just keep this train rolling.